Well, despite the obvious risk, there seems to be no letting up with migrants making the dangerous trek to the Bahamas. Still, as our Altavis Munnings tells us, Defense Force Marines are standing ready to apprehend. Honey, everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. Shop online for free in-store pickup in two hours or less. According to CoastGuardNews.com, U.S. Coast Guard cutter Robert Yared's crew transferred 51 migrants to the Bahamas following an interdiction off the coast off the Keysau Bank. A Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater airplane crew alerted Key West watch standers over a sailing vessel about 29 miles northeast of Keysau Bank around 11 o'clock this past Saturday morning. There were no injuries reported. Royal Bahamas Defense Force Commodore Dr. Raymond King confirming the apprehension with reporters Wednesday, pointing out that migratory movement has increased significantly. Now that particular vessel was being monitored early on, and there was an intensive search for that vessel because we had intelligence on that vessel. Initially, it was reported to have been moving towards Abacal along the eastern seaboard. And so we had shift resources in, to cover the eastern seaboard. And then we realized eventually that somehow it ended up on the western side of South Angeles. Uh, so we uh, sought um, the United States Coast Guard's assistance with that, with that apprehension, because it was done in our waters. Um, those 51 migrants would be handed over to immigration officials in Grand Bahama. Most of those migrant movements now are moving towards the United States, but we've still seen some deliberate attempts to surprise us here to reach New Providence. And then there's another recent episode of capturing Dominican poachers in our waters. That boarding turned into a hostile boarding exercise. The vessel absconded into the Cuban territory. We sought assistance from the Cuban Border Patrol in apprehending that vessel on our behalf. But we ended up shattering that vessel until she would have left the Bahamas completely. The Defense Force has also identified a recurring trend among these Dominican poachers. We're now seeking to time our fishes when the season opens, and they usually go out for about a month, and then they leave to come in to bring in their catch, and that is when the poachers feel as though it's safe. But as they come, they'll meet the Defense Force their position. For the Bahamas tonight, I'm Altavis Munnings.